So I'll be listing all the major issues with this new website and how to fix them. Hey guys, welcome back on today's episode. I'll be discussing on all the issues with the new US appointment portal. So if you find this video useful, don't forget to smash the like button, click on the notifications icon, that's the bell icon beside the subscribe button. So whenever I make a new post, you don't get to miss it. Now let's jump right into it. As you know, the US introduced a new website, an entire website for the appointment booking. Since um, 2020, after lockdown, we experienced a surge in the number of applications for US. So with this, it has developed so many issues regarding booking an appointment date, you know. You realize that if you're trying to book an appointment in 2024 what is available will be end of 2025 and if you're not even lucky up to 2026. so with this the u.s decided to you know do some adjustments uh you know change partners fix some things on their website to ensure that people be better served but when this website came in obviously it is known that when there's a new switch Obviously, there'll be one or two issues, but these are not one or two issues. These are many, many technical issues, and this is why I'm making this video. So I'll be listing all the major issues with this new website and how to fix them. So number one, just in case you bought a U.S. Um, visa fee with GT Bank, as you know, the new partner is now First Bank. So if you bought a U.S. visa fee with GT Bank, that was maybe before this new website, and you did not impute the MRV fee on the old website, then there's a very high chance that you have to buy a new visa fee. So because with this, um, there is no solution around this. That visa fee is almost gone. The reason I'm saying almost gone, I'm not saying gone is because I mean, anything could change. As of today, that visa fee is gone. You have to buy a new visa fee. That's one. Number two, now with the new site, uh, you realize that you have to wait after, you know, um, making payment for the visa fee, you have to wait for your profile to be um, approved before you can book an appointment so now some people are facing major issues with rejection so even after paying your visa fee they would reject your application to book an appointment so these are some of the tips you should ensure to ensure that your profile is approved number one ensure you fill your ds 160 first before booking the appointment so once you fill your ds 160 submit you can now start your application proper now Number two, also ensure that there are no errors in your um, application or in your appointment profile. So make sure you enter your names correctly. Make sure you enter all your information correctly, your DSO system information. Make sure it's entered correctly. So enter this information. You can now wait for the um, profile to be approved. Next item is visa fee payment. So a lot of people are having issues with making payment for the visa fee. So number one, um, there are several options to make payments. One of the options are you can make payment online, but right as of, as of today, not available it's not currently accepting most cards that people are using so that is not an option so, so in case you're trying to make payment online and it's not going through yet it's a general issue so just make payment to the bank so for the bank option make sure you generate your receipt ensure that you don't the receipt does not stay three days before making payment so for example if you make payment on friday um you have to count three days the, that particular receipt will be valid for only three days after that three days you'll not be able to make payment so if you want to make another payment you have to generate a new receipt so that is the new update regarding payment another issue is the ds160 update so just in case you applied in the last website which is the old website or for some reasons you made some editing and your old ds160 is no, is no longer valid and you want to update it on the new website Currently, there's no way to update it. So, which means you cannot update a new DS160 on the new website. So, which means if you have applied in the on the old website, so what that means is this: if you applied on the old website and you are trying to now update on the new website, there's no way around that. So you can't update on the new website. I mean your DS160 code on the new website. You can only do that if you are applying newly and you have imputed your DS160 information. Another issue is no appointment. As you know, one of the reasons why they're moving to this new site is to make, make appointment date available. But as far as I can see, most of the time, once you log into the website, you're not going to get appointment dates. So another issue that you would also face is you might even sometimes see appointment dates, but the moment you click on the appointment to go, it's going to tell you that that appointment is no longer available. So I think this new website has some caching issues. What that means is this there's a very high chance that you might see some dates you pick those dates and you tell you that those dates are not available and even after you refresh speak the date again it's still going to tell you that those dates are not available so just take note of these issues 
these are some of the issues technical issues on this new website so another issue is this if you have um, booked a date on the old portal so and you are you don't have you don't know the next step to take on this new website so uh, you're going to get a mail from the re website telling you to migrate so once you migrate automatically based on what they said your date should be automatically available but we've seen a couple of cases where people didn't get their date that they booked or the date was rescheduled again to a further date of in some cases people having issues logging in into their new appointment profile so, so whatever the issue is wait for instructions from the embassy um you have to change your password to the new to a new password entirely so once you change your password you can now you know go on to the appointment portal and download your appointment so there's also another problem that you might face which is the issue of actually downloading your appointment confirmation so even though the appointment has been booked you've um, successfully migrated to the new portal but you might still have issues downloading the appointment confirmation so in case you are facing this issue all you just have to do is this if you are using a mozilla change to chrome if you're using a chrome browser change to another browser entirely so if you change to another browser you should be able to download your appointment confirmation yes, yes. so I'll be making several videos on all these issues and how to do several stuff on the new appointment portal. So I made a video on how to navigate through the new portal. If I've not seen it, you can check it out. These are some of the issues being encountered on the new appointment portal. So just in case you have a new issue that I've not discussed in here, you can drop it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do another video on it. If there's any other issues you're facing, you can drop it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to respond to you. That, that's if I've not addressed it in this video. So if you're asking me some of the questions I've already addressed in this video, I'm not going to respond to that. If you find this video useful, don't forget to smash on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click on the description icon. That's the bell icon beside the subscribe button. So whenever I make another video, you don't get to miss it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.